Well, hello there, everybody. Andrea Carvin here at Inner Sparks Rehab and Spa. I am a rehab specialist, an expert working with high achieving people and addressing the problems that often happen from the with those who really live in a place of growing and celebrating and living our lives to the max. So this week we have been, I'm just going to quickly review, looking at some of the tools that high achievers need in order to keep growing and leading and celebrating and doing the fabulous things that you want to do. And what we've identified is the importance of habits. Now, today, I even have props. Oh, let's see. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So, um, everything is backwards. Motivation. Motivation was the first thing that we talked about at the beginning of the week. So, what is motivating you to make a change and develop this new habit? Day two. We talked about beliefs. What is your belief around the habit? Are you telling yourself the truth? If you're not, who can tell you the truth? So if you want to learn a new habit that you haven't done before and you're not sure that you can do it, that's what we're going to talk about the next one. Find ways to believe that you can create this new habit that's going to take you to the goal that you're motivated to do. So beliefs was step two. All right. And step three, day three, there we go. Okay, is sponsorship. All right. Work with people who know that they can support you and figure out ways you're going to support yourself. How are you going to celebrate? How are you going to keep your energy up? Um, what's going to make this new habit really work for you? So that was what we talked about day three, sponsorship. Day four, that was yesterday. Start small, dream big. So every dream, every new habit happens because of a very, very small one-step change. And you master that. You build confidence. You get grounded in the direction you want to go. And then you make another start and another small change. And that's how success at anything you try to do um, starts to develop. So start small. Build on it. And today... What we're going to present is falling in love with your new habit. And here's how we do that. I am learning this new habit because dot, 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 dot. <laughs> I want, because I want to dot, 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 dot. So let's pick the habit of having more energy when I get home at night and not feeling so tired. So I'm learning this new habit of relaxing my body more during the day because when I get home, I want to cook a nice meal and not eat junk food, take my dogs for a walk and toss a ball with them have energy for playing with my kids and helping them with their homework. Okay, you get the picture? So something we do a lot of at um, Inner Sparks, again, helping high performers, is talk about integrating movement and relaxation into your day in real time as opposed to taking yourself out of your life and having to create more time outside there. So how do we incorporate that in? So let's say my new habit is um, my eyes are getting very strained, and I notice myself doing this at the computer. I'm going to do eye exercises every time I check email, or when I'm done checking email, I'm going to do some eye relaxation drills. 
and I do that and I do it five times five times a day that is 25 reps times five days a week you've just done a hundred relaxation exercises that maybe took you 15 seconds and these are the ways we create habits that create more health in our body because we're working and we're resting and we're working and we start to learn the right amount of energy as opposed to pushing ourselves and creating more strain and more tension so we can go to our running classes, our spinning classes, our yoga classes, all these activities and have more energy to give because we're not coming out of our work day depleted. All right, so again, I am learning this new habit because I want to. And every time you learn that new habit and you do it, Here's what you get to do. All right. And I've got a little surprise for our last day, so stay with me here. I had it all going. This is from Cool and the Gang. And celebrate. Celebrate those successes. Find a way. In my house, dancing is a big celebration, so find a way. Thank you for joining me this week in this series on creating habits that stick. I love to answer questions that you might have, so please, please, please feel free to Either PM me if it's a private question or if you'd like some more support. I have a group called Rehab Movers and Shakers. If you would like to join that group and start to meet other people who are like-minded, who want to move the best and the most fantastically in your body to um, be bright and shiny and energized through all that you do during the day, again, just send me a message. Let me know you're interested. It's a free group. Um, again, just to create community about moving well and creating great energy um, in our lives. That's what movers and shakers and us high achievers are all about. So thank you. Thank you for joining me. Next week, we're going to be looking at shoulders and, and what we can do about shoulder pain. So have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye. See you next week.